welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am the host of the show, Tony Green, and we are officially live. Okay. Oh, I have hair all over the place this morning. I need to get some sticky stuff and like tack down the top of my hair. <laughs> I think that would be the best thing. Okay. So for today's show, uh, general in the beginning PSAs or, you know, just a general announcements. The first thing is um, this show airs on WSCS and all of WSCS's streaming channels, Rude Rangers TV and all of their streaming channels. Every podcast, I think every podcast and radio station. So please, when you're asking questions, keep that in mind. If you don't mind airing your dirty laundry, I'm going to be right there hanging it. I mean, I'm just going to say, you're going to put something out there. I'm going to ride with it. Anyway, um, and then um, if you want to call in, if you have a question and you want to call in and ask your question or connect with a loved one on the other side, I point up here for those of you watching because um, that's typically they either come in here or they come in there. Um, the number is 845-277-9131. You can call in, ask a question, and or connect with a loved one on the other side. If you want to join us live, I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central for 30 minutes. You can join us on YouTube and watch the show. You can call in and ask questions. You can put questions in the chat. I try to get to everybody during the show. I'm not always able to do that, but I do try. Um, if I get to you and um, I say your area code, I just need you to give me a solid question, one question or one connection. If you want to connect with a loved one, I just need their first name and their relationship to you. I know it's the beginning of the year and a lot of people have been telling you, tell me what's going to happen this year. Well, that's kind of a whole year reading or tell me what spirit wants me to know. Most of the time people don't love what spirit wants them to know. So just, you know, you might want to have a specific question for something you want to know. Um, if you do call in, please hit the, I think you need to hit one to raise your hand so I know to take your call on the call log, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to you. All righty. I want to say hi to everybody in the chat. You guys, if you do watch live, don't be afraid to come into the chat and say hi and join in the conversation with everybody. So hey, Mimi, Terry, Genevieve, Miss Jules, um, Kim. Hey, Kim. Uh, Thanks for joining us. Uh, Sal, I love Sal. He's such a sweetie. Genevieve, um, going back. Rebecca, welcome to the show. Fawn is here. And then I think there was a, Heather and Amy, of course. Everybody's in the house today. Uh, Lolly, hey. I want to thank everybody who joined me for the uh, New Year's Eve show Saturday night. And I enjoyed that so much. I think I'm going to alternate Friday and Saturday nights um, on the show. So, yeah, like one week I'll do Friday. The next week I'll do Saturday. I'm thinking I'm going to do it. So, yeah sounds because it was really awesome to be able to just have a show it a little later at night it was kind of it was kind of cool anyway um I've already had a couple of questions from people um in the chat I'm going to get to your questions um <laughs> lolly <laughs> Lolly wants to know, has anybody else spent the last two days in pajamas? <laughs> yeah, whatever your version of pajamas is, I'm there with you. Except for the show Saturday night. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Absolutely, Lolly. 100%. Uh, Okay, I am going to go to take a caller and then do um, 
answer a question on the YouTube chat. If you are on YouTube chat, please, if I miss your question, don't feel badly reposting it because there's a lot going on and I'd have to scroll all the way back down. So if you need to repost the question, if you feel like I've missed it, I will not be offended by that at all. So don't don't um, worry about doing that. Hey, Kayla, thanks for joining the show. So happy you're here. Um, the first call I'm going to take is 631. 631, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Rose. Hey, Rose, where are you calling from today? I'm calling from New York. Hey, Rose. Welcome to the show. Happy New Year. Well, happy New Year to you. Thanks. You're welcome. How can I help you today, love? Um, I, I guess I'm going to um, connect to my mom on the other side. And what's your mom's first name? Uh, Francis. Francis. Okay. So the first thing I hear is spicy. You're going to know what that means a lot more than I do. So, so I don't know if she um, was. I didn't hear what you said. The first thing I hear is spicy. The word spicy, like caliente. I, oh, is spicy. caliente oh. spicy? Does cali? Oh, that's so funny. You guys, I have to. I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna tell you something. That flash and light. There is nothing going on in my place that would make my light flash like that. So for those of you watching on YouTube, we know who that is or what that is. Um, thank you so much for being patient. Um, spicy. I hear the word spicy. So either her personality was spicy or she she likes spicy food or cooks. I don't know what it is, but the first word I hear is spicy for her. Okay. That's the first word that comes across okay. with her. And for you, I can give meanings that I think it is, but you're going to know better what that means. Um, or maybe you are the one who's a little spicy um, with your personality. You have mm. like a spicy personality. I don't know, but the first word I hear is spicy. Um, then she, okay. I think the light, I'm not looking at the camera, but you guys, if that light keeps flashing, let me know because there are literally no lights on in here and nobody nothing coming in through the windows it is crazy okay um i, I and this might be this just could very well be your mom flashing to let us <laughs> let us know she's here not flashing <laughs> us but flashing her light to let us know she's here i don't know anyway uh the next thing she wants right. to say is um don't okay first i want to ask you do you have a specific question for your mom or do you just want a message from your mom i guess um well she probably knows what's going on so i guess just the okay. message the first thing she wants to say is don't let somebody else trample your dreams don't let somebody else like and I see the vision of somebody with their foot on somebody, like holding them back or stopping them from going forward. Like just, you know how they say they got mm -hmm. they, they got you under their thumb or, you know, the, however that, yeah. whatever that's, uh -huh. she's saying that. She's like, now this could be a work relationship. It could even be children. I, I don't know what the personal situation is. I'm just giving you the messages as I get them. Right. These messages are don't let anybody right. hold you back from your, from, from accomplishing your dreams, whatever they are, still go after them. It's never too late. I feel like there's something you may have started, but you didn't quite uh, finish or get to the level you want it to be. And she's saying, go for it. Now's the time. She also wants you to know that she is. Uh, I love this. Um, mm -hmm. She's your biggest cheerleader. She is your biggest cheerleader from the other yeah. side. She is your biggest fan, your biggest cheerleader. She wants you to 100%. Um, she, I, I, this is a weird way of saying it, but I'm going to say it this way. She wants you to be about that life that 
And when she says about that life or that statement comes through, she wants you to have that life that you really want. Um, the one you thought about or talk about, she really wants you to have that. And she wants you to jump in and just go. No excuses, nothing, um, nothing can um, uh, hold you back. I, I'm hearing that, like, uh, I think it's Culture Club. Ain't nothing going to break my stride. Oh, no. I'm moving. I got I got to keep on moving. That song is playing. So I can't even hear the message because that song's coming in. And like, don't let anything hold you back. Don't let anything break break your stride. Just mm -hmm. just whatever this is, go for it. That's her yeah. biggest message to you okay. for now, for for today. Um, and she, of course, she wants to say she loves you. And um she's sending you angel kisses whatever that is to you or if probably kisses from her, but I don't want to put my own definition and or meaning on it. So she's sending you angel kisses Bye. and she wants you to know she's going to mm -hmm. be with you um, always. Um, so yes. Okay. So that's what she, that's her message Bye. for you. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, thank you. You are. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. And happy new year to you and everyone else. Happy New right, thank Year. Thank you very much. You are so welcome. Happy New, Happy New Year. Year. And thank you so much for calling in. I'm going to go to one of the questions online. So callers, please, um, I'm just going to go back and forth today, but I will try to get to everybody. Um, so uh, I'm going to go to, I feel like, uh, Miss Jewel says, I feel like I've been sabotaging my relationship with my daughter. Can I please receive guidance around that. Thank you. Okay, Miss Jules, what I hear right away is you're having, um, and I don't know how old your daughter is, you're having difficulty transitioning from like that mom role to that um, kind of more of a sister or friendship role. Because at some point, if we've raised our children appropriately, we still want, you know, most people still want to mom their children. They want to still give them the guidance and tell them what to do. And instead, we have to sit back and know that we've raised them and they're responsible, so on and so forth. And we can now go into that um, kind of that, that their go-to person or what, however that is meant. Miss Jules, I'm going to do for you, everybody listening, watching, re-watching, re-listening, we're going to do a clearing to clear self-sabotage, not only for relationships, but any and all aspects of our life. We self-sabotage. Um, we self-sabotage. I get a yes. Oh, we are going to clear that. And I feel that instantly in my throat. And most of us do self-sabotage with what we say. Oh, if you guys are feeling this, please comment. Let me know that you are feeling this. I am feeling it. In case you cannot tell, I am feeling it. Okay. And I'm, Miss Jules, um, just a, a breathe through it and know that that might be the most difficult relationship there is, is the one between a mother and a daughter. If we look at our relationships with our moms, who right? Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to 262 right now. Uh, 262573. What's your name and where are you calling from? 26, 262. Hello. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I can. Okay, cool. It's Amy. Hey, Amy. How, how are you? Amy's also in the chat, everybody. Um, uh, how are I am you? Good. How are you? How can I help you today, love? Well, I um, I was thinking about asking you. Uh, I was thinking about asking you for a message from one person, but then another one came in and overrode that. So I guess I'm going to ask if my sister-in-law Chris has any messages. She just passed in October. Okay, so the first thing. Christine. The first thing I hear, and it's so funny because um, 
this is going to mean something to you, even if I don't get it. The first thing I hear is a song and it's, I just called to say, I love you that I think that's by Stevie wonder. Oh, um, so she is, okay. I'm going to cry. Yeah, me too. She is. She did that call because I was like, going to ask you to talk to my dad? Oh, so what's your dad's name? Love. My dad is Al. Oh, that was my dad's name too. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Alfred. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna tell you. Uh, the, okay, so I see. I see. Chris is here over my like right shoulder, but your dad is a little bit to the right of me. And what I'm gonna tell you is, they're both here. I hear the word in unison. Um, they're giving the same message. Basically, they're both gonna give you the same message. Whatever it is, they need to say. Whatever needs to be said today, either one of them or both of them would have said it. Thank you. So what they want you to know is that first and foremost, um, don't look back. Just let that poop go. That is not the word they used, but hey, we're on TV. Um, let that poop go. It's time for you to cut. Okay, thank you. Okay. Stop, stop even talking or reliving in your mind things that have happened in the past. And I know how hard that is, especially with some of the things that everybody yep. has been through. However, what we keep awake in our mind is alive in our life. Ooh, wow. So if we keep thinking about something, it's like it just happened. If we can stop thinking about it, if we can kind of try to let it go. And if we've done some healing and some clearing and everything on it, um, it will fade away and it won't, it won't have that hold on us. And a lot of times we think about things and we keep it at the forefront of our mind because we want to make sure it doesn't happen again. So I'm going to clear, I'm going to do a clearing and a healing. All that has happened in our past has healed. I get a no. Let's clear that and instantly guys from my from this, like my heart to my throat was a big bubble and just, whew, whew. Okay, so let's clear and heal that and we can let it go. I get a no and it feels safe to hold on to things because we think as long as I remember this, it will never happen again. It's not the way it happens. But so let's clear and heal that. And then uh, what they want to say is it's time to only look forward and move into what's coming, not what's gone. What's already gone, you can't change, you can't fix, you can't work on. Just look at what's coming and keep moving with that because that's where the goodness is. Okay? Okay. Wow. That I like their message. I'm going to have to re-listen to that because I really like that. I really like what they said. Thank you, Amy, so much for calling in. I'm so um, grateful for your call and that you're always here in the chat. Thank you so much, love. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. Happy New Year, and I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Thanks. Happy New Year. Thank you. Okay. I am going to look at a few people. A couple more people have come in online and I want to make sure I'm saying hi to everybody. Hey, Amy. Um, Amy May. Um, I'm so happy that you are able to make it here today. I'm going to go to um, Ms. Informed in Motion. <laughs> Okay, uh, misinformed, there are a number of people who have asked questions before you, and I'm going to try to get to them, and I will try to get to your question. Please don't um, feel badly if I don't get your question right away or if I don't, um, uh, whatever, I'm going to do it the best I can for everybody. The ne next question I'm going to answer is by Genevieve online, and she says, I'm curious about the vibration I've been carrying with my epiphany uh, from my meditation to build my blog. Okay, Genevieve, the first thing I get is um, from the field, 
from a field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Start building. Do whatever the the epiphany was. Follow it. Go with it. Um, but you know, follow it all the way through to the end. Don't let anything get in the way or stop it. Okay, just keep it going. Um, no matter what. And Sal wants to say, um, Happy New Year. This is the year of the rabbit in the Chinese New Year. That's awesome. The rabbit is a symbol, I believe, of fertility in all things. In all things, I believe. If I'm wrong, correct me, Sal. Thank you for sharing that, Sal. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next caller who is 480. 480, what's your name and where are you calling from? 480? In three, two, one. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm here. Excellent. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm Hi. Hi. Hi, it's Shira Tony, and I'm calling from Israel. Hey, Shira, how are you? Oh, my goodness. I I am doing great. Excellent. How is, uh, how is your blog going? Shira, everybody, um, Shira has a show also. What's the name of your show, love? Are you comfortable sharing that? Or do so, you I ha so, so on, on YouTube, I started a show under my name, Shira Raymond. Okay. And then I'm actually going to be launching a TV show uh, this week on the EverydayWomenTV.com channel. I um, love and it. it's for women uh, who are suddenly single to help them create the next chapter of their life on their terms. I love that. That's amazing. Congratulations on that, Shira. Congratulations. What a way to kick off the new year, right? How beautiful. Yeah. So how can I help really you today? Excited. I would be, absolutely. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so I'm just, um, I guess the question is, I'd like to connect with my father, Martin, and just really to, I guess uh, the question would be is, uh, in my meditations, am I really connecting with them? Oh, yeah. And, you know. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100 yeah 100% if that's your question um yes and then the one thing he is saying to you if i were to give you a message from him is all your answers lie within everything lies within everything is within wow so that yes it is him um expect him to be much more profound and insightful like more full of wisdom now than he ever was, even though he was wise, he's so much more full of, he's so much more profound and full of wisdom now. And he just wants you to know. And I mean, this is for everybody, not only you, Shira, and you know this, I know you know this, everything lies within us. All of our answers, all of our wisdom, right. it comes from within. And he wants you to really, Spend that time searching your soul and finding those answers and bringing them forth for everybody um, that you connect with. Awesome. Yeah. Can I, can I ask one other quick little thing? My youngest, Boria, who you know, is um, planning on moving here and being with me and um, just wanting to understand if... Um, She's going to return to her roots. Yes, but not the same way you have. Um, you know, every generation does it a little bit differently. So please know that however mm -hmm. she returns to her roots, that's her journey. I do feel like she's going to embrace some things, although she may not. She may, uh, the, the, the analogy that they're giving me is she may not dig as deep down into them as you have. Don't have expectations is the, the other big thing I'm hearing. Okay. If you just allow her to lead herself, you will be amazed at the path she goes down. Your journey was yours because of the 
the life that you have lived, her journey is going to be completely different because her life has been completely different thus far. So please allow her to forge her own way to whatever roots she wants to travel to. And it is going to look different than the way you got there. Remember, you've had different life experiences, okay? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. Oh, that is, I, I love your, this energy. It's so collective and so calm and so insightful. I love this energy. You need to be tapping into your into this all the time, Shira. Always. I, 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 I pretty much stay here all the time. I have really grown and worked on myself the last few years, and this is where I like to be. I and you know, it's so that. interesting. I feel like my father's been my guardian angel, like since he passed. Um, he definitely, you know, I will say this again and again and again, our loved ones, even loved ones we never met, they are our army, they are our warriors, they are with us from through this whole journey. And if we knew that we would never fear anything. Um, so please, yes, know that not only him, but his ancestors also, and your the rest of your ancestors also. Okay, love? Yeah. Thank you, Tony, so much. Love you as always. I love you too, Shira. I hope you have and just an amazing show. Please um, keep the wisdom coming for, for those in need. Okay, love? Thank you. you I will try. Absolutely. Thank you again okay. for calling in. And I cannot wait to talk to you again. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. Okay, I am going to uh, try to answer a question on um, line. And I'm sorry if I've uh, missed anybody's question, please forgive me. I don't mean to miss um, anybody's question. So I'm going to go and kind of scroll a little bit here. Please be patient with me. Um, hey, Nancy. I see Nancy. Um, Nancy, Happy New Year. Do you see me moving out of state and closer to my daughter this year? Nancy wants to know if in 2023, is she going to move closer to her daughter? I instantly hear yes. I hear that this might not happen as soon as you would like it to, but it is going to happen. I feel like be patient and make sure you have everything in order, meaning not only settling everything you need to settle where you are, but making sure everything is set up where you are going. I don't know why they're saying that, but they are. I don't know if this is going to, you're going to have a choice, is, I think, of if you do this in the spring or the fall. So you might start getting ready to do it in the spring and then by the fall be there or it's going to be a choice of doing it in the spring or in the fall, but the summer seems like um, they're not bringing up the summer. So, um, but I hear the fall the, the, the loudest. So by the fall, you sh if, if you take the steps and the appropriate actions, you should be there. So I hope that's helpful, Nancy, and Happy New Year to you also. I want to thank you all so very much for joining me today. If I did not get to your call or I did not get to answer your question online, remember I will be back Wednesday and probably Friday night. So Wednesday at noon Central and Friday at 10 p.m. Central. I love you all so much. Happy New Year and have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you.